So good morning guys, I'm now with my backpack again heading to Poland. You see, it's been a long time since I wasn't able to travel outside this country because of the pandemic hit. Um, but uh, it's a nice thing to see that it's really um, slowly going back into normal. So we're grabbing those opportunity to catch those, you know, cheap flights and promo uh, offers of the airline company to visit different country. So today we're going to explore the two cities in Poland, which is the Warsaw and then the Krakow. And uh, yeah, we're going to see the beauty of its uh, country and uh, discover a lot of things there. So we'll see you there. So I'm in the airport now guys and I have already checked in so I just have to go to the gate um, specifically in a C21 gate and for boarding. So guys, we just landed here in Krakow and right now we're looking for a ticket booth so that we can buy a ticket heading to the first stop which is the Auschwitz Birkenau. So let's go ahead and find a ticket booth. So guys, I'm now here in Krakow, Bronowice. So I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly, so forgive me if I mispronounce it. <laughs> so from the airport, I just ride one train heading to this place. And from here, I'm gonna ride another train heading to Oswey Sim. So that's the train stop heading to Oswich Birkenau. And um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly, but hopefully my research done well into that. So let's see. You know what guys, one thing that I realized, you're not gonna get lost here because, you know, there's a huge timetable <laughs> posted in each train stop or bus stop. So definitely you're not gonna miss any train, not unless you're really late, right? <laughs> you know what, in Czech Republic, I get used to the timetable that was really, really small. You really have to look, move forward and look at the um, time schedule. But here, no, it's really big. I mean, for the whole day, there's two large paper on my back. So guys, I'm now here in Oswey Sim and right now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk towards the um, Oswich Birkenau One Museum. So I'm going to find a map first for us to be able to do that. So let's go. Alright guys, so right now I'm currently walking towards to the Oswich Birkenau One Museum, basically the, the gate of the uh, historical site here. And as you can see, I'm not walking, but definitely you can choose to ride the bus instead, which I did not prefer because I'm saving money, right? So. So KL Auschwitz was the largest of the German Nazi concentration camps and extermination centers. Over 1.1 million men, women, and children lost their lives here. The authentic memorial consists of two parts of the former camp, Auschwitz and Birkenau. One cannot understand the modern world without a thorough knowledge of the history of the Nazi German concentration camp, so a visit with an educator allows better understanding of this unique place. The Ostwich Memorial is more than extensive grounds and original camp blocks, barracks, and guard towers. It is also tens of thousands of objects of special nature, special meaning, and a special symbolism. In this place, you can access the museums where they preserve all the personal possessions of the deportees found at the site after liberation. 
You can also see the evidence of the crimes directly connected with the extermination of Jews conducted in the camp by German Nazis, from the SS garrison items and some prisoner items that represents primitive living conditions, humiliation of people by perpetrators, but also the attempts to remain humans behind the Ostwich wires. So we just finished the first half of my tour here in Ostwich and I wasn't able to capture some of the vlogs in uh, Ostwich Burkina 1 because I was so focused into the tourist guide's um, uh, lecture. So we're wearing a headphone and I, I should keep myself close to them because otherwise I'd be lost and maybe uh, join into a different theme so I don't want that to happen <laughs> so right now we're currently in Ostwich Birkenau 2 Museum this is the biggest um, concentration camp ever built in uh, during Hitler's time so we'll see more about that So we already entered here in uh, Ostwich Birkenau 2 and it is really really huge. I mean it's literally too hot <laughs> because of the uh, it's summer today so definitely it's hot. But there's no shade here because the houses were being uh, destructed when uh, World War II um, happened. So visiting different historical sites in any part of this world really wakens me up. That's why I love visiting the historical, which I call the UNESCO World Heritage, because that obviously gives a lot of learnings in terms of history. But not only that, but we really um, embracing the past because we as the uh, current generation really did not acknowledge that, I guess, because we're so much focused on the different things, forgetting about the past. So I'm now heading back to Oswesim again. So uh, from there, I'm gonna ride another train heading to the main station, Krakow main station, and proceed to my hotel. So if I have some time, I would love to get some um, incredible shots or maybe visit another uh, wonderful place in the center um, if I have some time and uh, of course if I have some energy <laughs> but uh, definitely I wanted to squeeze my time here in Krakow because it's really really short I wanted to visit all of the beautiful places here so hopefully you're gonna join me in the next coming videos So guys, I'm now currently at my uh, rented apartment for a day here in uh, Krakow and I'm really really sad because this is the first time that I don't have an internet connection in the midst of my trip. 
so as you know as we all know internet is really really a big deal for me especially when i'm traveling because that's my only way of checking my routes the places that i wanted to visit the timetables of the place and so on and so forth so it's kind of frustrating on my end to 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 not have an internet connection at the moment but i just accept it as a gift because i wanted to take a rest for a while so probably you know god or the universe wanted me to really rest for at least a day and so while i'm walking into this location i saw a street food a kind of traditional street food that they have here in this place so what i did was I buy a piece of it, the traditional one, the original flavor, and then take it out. So I don't know how they will call it, but basically it's a mashed potatoes, uh, a large piece of potatoes, and then they mash the, the meat of that potatoes, leave the skin on, and then they put some, um, probably this is yogurt, spring onions. It felt like this brown color was a combination of um, the cheese, melted on the meat of the potatoes so and if i would combine this yogurt awesome it's really delicious it's really delicious in a way that you will experience the mashed potatoes it, for me it feels like a special version of a mashed potatoes because um the yogurt really brought out the flavor of the potatoes and the cheese that they put into that so definitely i would recommend for you to try that kind of street food you can find it anywhere you go here in poland so tomorrow is gonna be a big day i'm gonna meet my friends here in poland and um since i don't have an internet connection i have no choice but to leave here early so that i can communicate with them and um also uh have the breakfast outside and see with them see with my friends and then um make some research about the places that we wanted to go tomorrow so it's gonna be a big day again and i'm just gonna rest for a while no internet access <laughs> 